Hey, what's up guys? John here. Everyone around the world needs to pay very close attention to what's unfolding in Los Angeles because these trends, these new laws are going to be coming to every city, jurisdiction, and state in America and in the world. For example, Los Angeles just enacted a $20 an hour minimum wage. Minimum wage for California's fast food workers from $16 to $20 an hour. That minimum wage goes into effect Monday, April 1st. Businesses are scrambling to find ways to offset the extra labor costs. They say in many cases, customers will just end up eating the difference. This lady here was on Fox News and she says, you know why they're doing this? They're doing it because they want to usher in AI. They want to phase out employees. Pasadena, California, that's where the world's first ever fully autonomous AI powered restaurant has opened and they have a really, really big plan of changing everything that we know about the economy and living. After she made this statement, they kicked her off the air, right? They removed her from the air. And then the more you start to connect the dots here, you can see very, very clearly. And I'm going to show you videos, verifiable facts. I'm going to show you all the proof so you can see where this is actually going. Because if you're a business owner, if you are an entrepreneur, if you're an employee, pay very close attention to the future. On this channel, I talk about personal finance, real estate, business, and money to help you and position you for the future. I think we're walking into a lot of change. And so those that are interested in that, feel free to subscribe. Also, today's video is sponsored by my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative item in a credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free call for Monday. Also, please hit the like button to help the uh, YouTube algorithm share this content to educate more people about what's going on. So take a look at this. Dana, I honestly mm -hmm. think, I I've thought about this, and I just want to put this out there. Sure. I think Newsom's trying to usher in AI. Honestly, he's basically going to get rid of the franchisees owners with the, the McDonald's is basically getting rid of the small business owners to usher in this massive opportunity for the McDonald's, for the Burger Kings, for the Wendy's, for these large corporations to begin to, you know, take over. She says for her just to, you know, make anything, they're going to have to sell a cheeseburger for $26. The lower class, middle class, upper class has been completely shut out. They can't even afford McDonald's, let alone come to my place. And businesses are collapsing. My kitchen has been here since 1978 and I cut my bookkeeper, cut my hours. She added, it's literally making way for corporations and big conglomerates. People with a lot of money will be able to have a business. Everybody else is getting pushed out. Now, what they say is that, you know, industrial robots can improve clean technology level and energy efficiency, right? Basically, it's gonna be better for the environment. What they don't want is people driving to work, you know, in their you know, gas combustion vehicle, you know, polluting the environment, driving to work and working for these wages when they could be staying home, right? They could stay home or, you know, they could walk or take an e-bike or they could, you know, take some type of public transportation. You know, this is what's actually happening. For example, look at this. This is world's first AI powered restaurant soon opening doors to Pasadena. Pasadena will soon be home to the world's first fully autonomous and artificial intelligence powered restaurant, which plans to open its doors in the coming weeks. The restaurant called Cali Express is powered by technology for from Miso Robotics, the creator of Flippy, the world's first AI powered robot fry station and Pop ID, a technology company that simplifies ordering through biometrics. It can be found in, right? So ordering through biometrics. You, no small business owner is going to be able to compete with that because you're going to walk in there and they're going to be like, oh, hey, John, I know you like bacon cheeseburgers. You like uh, french fries. They're going to know the proper upsell. They're going to know the proper downsell. They're going to be able to extract as much cash from every single customer. They're never going to get sick. They're never going to sue you. It's going to be, you know, 24 seven type of operation. At least it could be right. How can a small business owner compete with it? They're not going to be able to. And, you know, they're obviously going to have a much lower cost basis per sandwich sold. They're going to be able to undercut competition, right? Now, it's fascinating because you look at this, you know, just a you know, month or two ago, you know, Gavin Newsom was going to give Panera Bread a discount. They're going to say, you know what, you're not going to be applicable to this $20 an hour minimum wage. You know, you can hire, you can hire at 16 an hour. It'll be fine for you because, you know, Panera Bread was a big donor, but then they got a lot of kickback and now Panera Bread is going to be doing this. But at the end of the day, Panera Bread, they could afford to do it if they wanted to, because, you know, obviously they have a lot more, a lot more money, a lot more authority and a lot more market share to be able to, uh, you know, to comply with a lot of these standards in terms of AI. Now, what I find very fascinating is when you start to connect the dots here and how all of this makes so much, just so much sense. So America's biggest universal basic mobility experiment is taking place in Los Angeles. A mobility wallet pilot program is giving South LA residents $150 a month to spend. Now this is going to be coming statewide. At least that's their plan. They say this is going to, look, it says the catch, 
Funds can be used to take the bus, ride the train, rent a shared e-scooter, take micro transit, rent a car share, take an Uber or a Lyft, or even purchase an e-bike, but they can't, it can't be spent on the cost of owning and operating a car. Like they do not want that money spent on owning and operating a car. Then California enacts this new policy. And in this new policy, what they, they compare this to, look at this. And this is a compost law, how people recycle going forward. They compare this, the success of this program by removing vehicles from the road, right? So look at this. When we reach our 75% goal, it'll be like taking 3 million cars off of the road. All right, so you're like, okay, well, what does that have to do with anything, John? Follow me here. So Los Angeles, the city of Los Angeles Bureau and of Labor of Sanitation secured a $400,000 grant from the United States Department of Agriculture to increase composting practices and reduce food waste in the communities. Well, look at this. So they have their goals, right, to reduce food waste. Then you have this goal here, which is gonna be regarding the vehicles. This LA freeway is the butt of many jokes. Can it have a new life as parks and housing, right? And so it's this freeway right here, the Marina Freeway, which essentially will, if you're right here, it'll basically drop you, um, you know, around Venice Beach in that area. Now, what's fascinating is this article came out, you know, in uh, late September, about six months ago, September 23rd. Then on the 26th, you had Fox that reported on this as well. But what's fascinating is Klaus, he, on the 10th, this is uh, September on the 3rd of September, 2023. So about three weeks before the mainstream kind of picked it up, what he said was this. Automatically guided car, a self-driven car, will come to your hotel or wherever you are and will bring you to the airport. Actually, I had a discussion some months ago with the mayor of Los Angeles. And you know, Los Angeles is one of the cities with the heaviest traffic who told me in 2030, Los Angeles will be private car driven free. And this How are people getting to work if it's private car driven free, right? How are people gonna get it to work? Are they gonna be taking uh, lifts and Ubers? You have millions of people going on lifts and Ubers? I don't think so. I think, uh, I think AI is really gonna take foot now, starting right now. Will allow to transform highways into parks and other public spheres. Parks and other public spheres, right? And then you look, LA Times literally say the same exact thing. You, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. Now, what I find very fascinating is when you start to pay attention to the new food systems of how this is all going to perfectly segue. So the new food systems, which Los Angeles has signed on to, very fascinating. So our goal, our global food system, is broken. One third of food is wasted, right? And so the, again, the plan is to reduce food waste, right? They want to reduce food waste. And so when they want to reduce food waste, this is how they're going to do it. They're not just going to say, please don't waste food. No, no, no. Yet many people around the world suffer from food insecurity. Food is among the largest drivers of the crisis. Food insecurity is also one of the biggest impacts is also of the biggest impacts of this pandemic. Most of the world's food is consumed in urban areas, giving cities the power to deliver transformative change. Now let's look at who is on this. 16 cities are already on it. And uh, down here, you will see Los Angeles, which is already signed. So aligning food procurement of planetary health diet, right? So this $26 cheeseburger, this is gonna go to $40. This is gonna go to $50. This is going to continue to go up. And the reason for it is just going to get so expensive. And, you know, these large corporations can be very, very easy for them to switch out, you know, meat to, you know, planetary uh, meat patties, right? Or planetary patties. Now, what's going to be interesting is supporting an overall increase in healthy plant-based food consumption in our cities by shifting away from unsustainable, unhealthy diets, reducing food loss and waste by 50%. Like that is a substantial, substantial reduction. Within two years of endorsing this accelerator, working with residents, businesses, public institutions, and other organizations to develop a joint strategy for implementing these measures to reduce these goals. Now it's a lot easier to do this if you're not dealing with you know this lady's restaurant because you know this lady she's been in business for 40 years. It doesn't look like you know by the look of her face she doesn't look like she's going to be uh, pushed around. At least looks like she's a fighter, right? And uh, if they just come and say, you know what, we're switching all your, 
and we're switching all of your uh, items, your menu items, she'll probably just say no, right? Obviously, but if a Panera Bread or a McDonald's or a Wendy's or a Burger King, they are told to switch, it might be a lot easier, right? A much smoother transition. And so public institutions and other organizations to develop a joint strategy for implementing these measures and achieving the goals of inclusively and equitably incorporating these strategies into our plan. And so they're all in it, right? They're all gonna be doing this. And uh, fascinating, this also is moving forward because this is gonna be better for the environment as well. Um, and this is on his website, right? So they've been talking about this for almost 10 years, almost a decade this has been in the works. So when you see what's going on in Los Angeles and you see the change that's unfolding with, you know, when they say they wanna increase, you know, incomes, they want to you know, combat inequality, they need minimum wage to be at 25 or $30 an hour, just realize that increasing minimum wage at $25 or $30 an hour is probably like paying an employee sixty or $70,000 a year. Why would a business owner pay an employee that type of money when they could buy one of these robots for $20,000 or less, right? They could lease these robots for like 300 bucks a month, 400 bucks a month. Why would they choose an employee? The employee would have this place filthy, they wouldn't show up, it would be a completely different type of customer experience, that's for sure. They wouldn't know the upsells, the downsells, they wouldn't have the biometrics, they wouldn't have any of that data, right? So pay very close attention to this, and I personally believe we're gonna see a lot of wealth trade hands over the next couple of years because of all of this change. What are large corporations gonna do when these small businesses close up? They're gonna start buying assets. They're gonna to start to build and build and build out their portfolios. That's what they're gonna do. They're not just gonna sit on a bunch of depreciating fiat dollars. They're gonna go out there and start acquiring. So put yourself in a really, really good position. A lot is about to change. Los Angeles, I believe, is gonna be the first city or one of the first. And over the next couple of years, we're gonna see so many more cities doing the same exact thing. If you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself for this great wealth transfer, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative item in a credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free call for Monday, and I'll catch you next video.